Hi, it's Ken and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been following along and you're just catching up, I discuss what it's like to get back on a bike after 32 years away. And of course, I've gone from not owning a bike for 32 years to buying a full Ultra Classic, a Harley Ultra Classic. And I share with you the mistakes I make along the way. So let's get back to riding. in an earlier video or several I might have discussed the fact that I like playing in a band and I play bass I try anyway we have a good time and it's a lot of fun and uh, but we couldn't come up with a name for a long time we every time we showed up to practice we we're trying to figure a name figure a name couldn't come up with one and uh, but every time we showed up to practice everybody explained what went on discussed what went on that week with uh, family and uh, incidents that happened and problems that happened and one day the drummer turns to everybody and says you know what it's always something we all looked at him and decided you know what that's the name of the game that's the name of the band we're going to be always something So with the name of the band, always something in mind, let's uh, translate into uh, motorcycle language, that too. And uh, for the last few weeks, it's been a real tough time as far as getting on the bike. A lot of family obligations, a big project going on, helping my daughter get into a new house. It needed a lot of renovations. And even though I might have been able to ride my bike there for a day or two over the last three or four or five weeks, uh, most of the time I had to bring a pickup truck. If I wasn't bringing my pickup truck for carrying cargo, I was bringing my pickup truck because the weather was really bad, uh, pouring rain or whatever. But uh, I wanted to get on the bike. I tried to get on the bike. I just couldn't do it. Too many, uh, too many things going on. Too much uh, cargo had to get in the truck and be brought down to the new house. Finally, I caught a break. The weather, every obligation I had to do, some work and everything. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to jump on the bike and go for, a, go for a ride into the parking lot and do my practices. Uh, do my skills, uh, circles, tight turns, uh, slow speed race, and I headed over to a local parking lot. After riding around for probably 20 minutes to half an hour, I probably should have taken a couple of breaks, but sure enough, my back brakes failed. So I didn't. <laughs> I just went home and uh, put, put it in the garage and started looking into what, what was going on. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to ask a question that I would like uh, experienced riders as well as beginners to give me their advice and tell me what they think. I did a little research into what it would take to fix the brakes on the back of my bike. It was just the rear brakes, uh, just seemed to totally gone. And uh, what the issue might be. I know I overheated them for sure. Probably should have taken a little couple of breaks in between my practices, but uh, I wasn't gonna take any chances. I was gonna look into fixing these brakes. I came across a great video by Ryan Erlocker from Law Abiding Biker, and he explained it from start to finish, how to do these brakes. So I went and bought the brakes and I, Took care of the job myself. I'm not going to show you the whole video of me doing it because I'm probably not the best instructor for that. But I uh, suffice it to say it was pretty easy and uh, the brakes work great now. So I got two questions for you. One kind of a joke. Does your bike do this? So now my serious question, a little bit more serious. Uh, I've only been riding this bike for about three months. I've never owned a bike this big. The biggest one I've ever owned was a 750 Yamaha. Uh, I've borrowed this bike, this Ultra Classic before, the same exact year, the same CCs, um, but not long enough to get really comfortable with the bike, just to jump on it, take a couple of kick cops on it. But uh, after three months, I'm wondering, is this enough power? I know this is a silly question for a guy who's just back on a bike after 30, uh, 32 years. But uh, I just feel it doesn't have the torque that I really would like to have. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's definitely rides beautiful. I've, me and my passenger, my wife, uh, not a problem. I just, uh, that little oomph. 
is that something I should be looking for? Because I just feel like it's missing. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this bike anytime soon, but uh, I sure do feel like it's for this big a bike, it probably should have had a little bit more oomph. Well, thanks again for joining in my journey of getting back on a bike after 32 years and getting back to riding. Hope you have a great day. Take care.